A troubled past and a history of trouble with the law. That's how Tyler Terry's father describes him. Good evening. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Today, Terry was in court in South Carolina to face charges in two murders. He's also accused of two murders here in St. Louis County that investigators say appear to be random. New tonight, our Casey Nolan has information about Terry's past from his father, Casey. Yeah, his father, Donnie Tyler, lives in South Carolina, where Tyler Terry was arrested after a week-long manhunt. His father says he had no idea his son was wanted until the FBI showed up at his door. And that wasn't the first time law enforcement had come looking for him. Every once in a while, every couple of months, he'll call me for money or something. I'll say, you know, how you doing? You know, Dad, I'm doing this. I'm getting a job. But investigators say Donnie Terry's son, Tyler Terry, was most recently on the run. Along with Adrian Simpson, Tyler Terry is accused of killing four people in two states, including Dr. Sergei Zakharev and Barbara Goodkin in St. Louis County. More than 300 agents tracked Terry down in South Carolina, and both he and Simpson are now behind bars on murder charges. Terry's father says it's not the first time his son has been in custody. He says when Tyler Terry was 15, he set fire to several townhomes while people were still inside. He wrote like a three or four page confession, and in one part it said, I burned down the houses, ha, ha, ha. And he said, yeah, Dad, I did it all by myself, and I didn't have no help. Donnie Terry says after four years in juvenile detention, his son Tyler was able to convince authorities he was reformed, but now believes it was all an act. For a time, his father says Tyler Terry lived with his mother in Ohio, and that didn't go well either, he says. Kids picked on him and stuff like that, so he, um, he eventually stopped going to school. When he came back to South Carolina to live with his father, his father says he had to kick him out of the house. He was... You know, violent here, you know, knocking holes in walls, arguing, not listening. So I had to uh, evict him out of here. We're told Tyler Terry has a three year old daughter, and while the manhunt was going on for him, authorities moved his daughter and her mother to a secret location for their safety. Terry is still in custody in South Carolina today. A judge there denied his bond. Mike.